Hello, everybody. It is so good to be with you today. I was standing out in my backyard yesterday looking around. I have so many fruit trees out in our yard, and many of you know that you've been in our backyard, and uh, there's certain times of the year there is so much fruit on the trees. I don't have a clue what to do with it. Sometimes we'll bag up a bunch of it and, and give it away, or but for the most part, Lisa and I, we just grab maybe a, a few pieces and we'll put it in a basket in our kitchen or a big bowl. And uh, in a few days, I might eat a few of the pieces. But typically what happens is, is I end up throwing away a lot of it because we just don't eat enough of it. And even worse, I look at the trees and over time, what I don't take off of it, uh, they just, uh, they, the fruit just goes bad, just falls to the ground and becomes worthless. It, it didn't take me very long to start thinking, I'm not a very good caretaker for the trees that God has given me in the backyard. I would much rather have people consume it, right? Because that's what it's there for. It's there for people to eat that fruit. It's good for us, right? It, hopefully it tastes good. Uh, it's there for people to eat, but I, I'm not doing a very good job with it. And it makes me realize that, uh, I, you know, I look at Galatians 5, 22 and 23, and I'm reminded of a verse that says, For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That God gives us the spiritual fruit to give to other people. It's actually not, not given to me for me. It's given to me so I can give it to somebody else. Like I give it to you. You're the consumer. Why is that? Because I can tell you that I have love in me, but... Uh, it's not going to be real to you until you taste it. Until it becomes something that brings joy to your heart because, because somebody has blessed you with kindness or goodness or whatever the fruit may be. And I think that's something that we all need, right? I wonder if we're, we're good at, the, at watering it. What I mean by that is I wonder if our fruit is getting even better in time because we're in the Word of God and we're in prayer. And we're, we're taking the time to cultivate that and allow the Spirit of God to move in us. I wonder if that's happening. I hope that's happening in you because here's what I think. I think of it sometimes that we are a fruit stand that's out in the world. What I mean by that is that, uh, that people are coming by and they're seeing this, this fruit. And I'm not talking about just Christians. I'm talking about those that don't even know God at all. They'll see this fruit and somehow they'll be attracted to the fruit that they see that God gives to you and I. And they'll start transforming them. They'll say, I want to be more like that person because I see the fruit. I see that the way they are patient and, and I'm attracted to that. You see what I'm saying? When we're like a fruit stand, everybody comes by. And by the way, nothing at the fruit stand is for sale. It's all for free. It's all been, it's all been sponsored by Jesus Christ, right? He's died and paid for everything and he, he just wants to be seen and glorified through us, by his fruit in us. I'm praying that for us today, that we will be like a fruit stand and that our fruit will be good, that will allow God to continue to cultivate that in our lives and that we can make a difference to all the world around us because God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Let me pray for us. Lord, I pray that we will be a fruit stand that will be out in the world uh, for people to see because ultimately uh, people need to see you. Lord, that we, won't, uh, that we won't push away any of the work that you have in us, that we'll, we'll invite you, Spirit of God, to come in and transform us and change us, that we can make a difference, that ultimately, again, that people will see you. Lord, we're so thankful for what you're doing in our lives and uh, and that, Lord, somehow that we will just uh, listen to your voice as you call us to be fruit today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. And I hope that we get to, uh, to be with each other very soon. Bye-bye.